So this is the spot. This is definitely the spot. It's definitely. Look, I'm already seeing things and I haven't even done anything yet. It's as simple as finding the spot and simple as finding the spot and looking down. There's all types of, these are all, these are all buried in there. Just really, really casually. Two seconds here and I've, I've got five little pieces. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up here and look through and check it out, see what we got. Yeah, they're small, but they're, they are definitely small, but I am very curious to see, you know, if I can find any of any significant size. That seems to be the tricky part is not even so much finding them, but finding, you know, good size little pieces. That's... It's super interesting though, and it definitely kind of, uh, it definitely feels like it fills this rock hounding satisfaction. That's a little hair bigger of a piece. But yeah, again, there's this uh, kind of entire landslide here going up to pick through or look through at some point. You doing okay? Awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a cool little area. There's small material everywhere. You could uh, just look. That one's uh, you know half inch in diameter, roughly. But um, we're just walking up one of these little water runoff shoots, erosion shoots. I guess they're they're everywhere here, and you could e just easily walk up any of these little shoots, and there is material everywhere. Um, haven't yet found anything bigger than an inch in diameter, but um, you know this definitely uh, kind of you know satisfies the little rock hounding itch. Um, that a lot of people might be having. Um, that was a lot of fun. My daughter climbed all the way up to the top there, no problem. She's only four years old. Ooh, look at that. Right under my handle. Anything that has any kind of uh, diameter to it catches my eye easily. Oh my. Yeah. 
So how much, how much work do you want to put in to picking some of these out of the matrix <laughs> versus just picking them up off the ground as they fall out naturally? That one looks a little bit green. I don't know if you can, I heard there was green up here as well. Okay, so this is pretty much what they look like after soaking in salt water overnight. Um, they were pretty dirty when we got home. Um, but yeah, everything, everything is pretty, pretty clean now for the most part. Okay, so this is the uh, Cedar Butte Augite material. Um, we found all of this yesterday. Uh, took a little adventure day trip up into the Tillamook State Forest and uh, just kind of went to check it out. We were reading about it in a book and uh, saw a couple of YouTube videos and yeah, it was easy enough to find if you you know, can navigate a little bit. Uh, but yeah, pretty much this is all the material that we found. And we found this in uh, about an hour's time, pretty much effortlessly. And um, oh, it's nothing, nothing of any uh, big diameter uh, or anything like that, but it was a lot of fun. It was a memorable, experience to say the least with my my daughter and I we had a great time something that any anyone or any family could get into it's my daughter's just four years old she had a riot out there collecting these things and picking them out of uh, out of the rocks and the dirt but um, yeah super cool uh, this material is super uh, brittle really too so a lot of it kind of broke in the washing process um, so that would be the only thing I would say to be mindful of and um, I highly recommend going and checking it out sometime if if you feel like uh, it would be of some interest to you so there it is this is cool a couple uh, choice samples you're gonna go in a jar on the shelf and um, Thanks for checking out the video and uh, see you next time.